jacket weather indeed across Nebraska, even into portions of Kansas tonight. That cold front was a game changer indeed. Tomorrow's highs will reach right around 73. That is still a few degrees below normal for this time of year. We do catch up, however, on Sunday, a warm, sunny, but maybe a little bit breezy this weekend. All the details coming up in your KFXL nightly weather. Stephanie. All right, sounds good, Kent. Thank you. Well, the numbers are in and the state fair's attendance down in several key areas. Overall attendance this year, 314,805 compared to 379,108 a year ago. That's a 64,000 person drop, more than 16% year to year. Tickets sold at the gate, also down by more than 38,000. The first Saturday of the fair, again the busiest day, but not as busy as last year. August 25th this year drew nearly 44,000 people, while August 26th last year saw nearly 63,000. Overall guest experience did go up year to year though. 4-H static exhibits doubled in number from 356 last year to 717 this year, and the draft tour shows saw nearly 1,000 more spectators. But the concerts, not so much. Only two concert dates saw slight growth, with the Righteous Brothers outdoing Ronnie Millsap by 100 and Old Dominion outselling Leonard Skinner by 700. Otherwise, down across the board. Most notable, Sugarland did roughly a fourth the business Pentatonix did last year. Overall, 17,700 fewer concert tickets were sold this year compared to 2017. 21 Nebraska lawmakers have signed a letter defending Democratic gubernatorial candidate Bob Christ against Republican allegations that he drank alcohol on the job. The senators say they never saw Christ impaired by alcohol when he was in service to the state. The letter says the attack is without merit. The Nebraska GOP released videos last week showing Chris sitting at a Lincoln restaurant with a beverage standing behind the bar with his back turned to the camera and getting into his car outside the restaurant. State investigators who reviewed the footage say they couldn't substantiate the allegations. Fifteen of the signers are Democrats, five are Republicans, and one is a Republican turned independent. 